हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ वांड्रे शीतल फ्रॉम रेड शिक्षण संस्था राव बहादुर नारायण राव बोरावके कॉलेज सिरामपुर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्वेल्थ न्यू सिलेबस दैट इज द रिवाइज सिलेबस बिलोंग्स टू द चैप्टर ओरिजिन एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ लाइफ वट एवर दिस वीडियो वी हैव गेट स्टार्टेड रिलेटेड टू द नीट exam related to the cet exam this video they have given a lot of support and lot of guidance to our principal honorable dr gaikwad sahib under their guidance and support that program we are going to conduct here and on that basis here now we are going to start a uh, origin and evolution of life as we know that here when we are observing the nature that nature it shows that not a single thing it will be get arise or originate within a same or single day evolution it is the very long process and this evolution it will be get started from the very billion or million years ago and these things here we are going to discuss in this chapter how the life that will be get originated how the first life it is get formed and how the process of evolution it will be get takes place on the surface of life is there okay so therefore we know the firstly what is the meaning of the origin of life at that time here you should know the term protobiogenesis this proto means the primitive bio means the living and genesis means the formation where the first life it is get formed on earth that process is known as a protobiogenesis right and for that purpose here the different scientists they have proposed the different theories how the first life it is get originated on the earth surface and according to here these different theories they have proposed some concepts and unfortunately these scientists they are unable to get prove how the first life it is get originated on the earth surface now let's see here first the theory of spatial creation here as we know that the word special creator and when we are going to consider the religions at that time the we are preferring the god and god it is nothing but the one he have produced that beautiful word but the scientists they are unable to accept these things the spanish monk scientist father sudrets the name of the scientist is the spanish monk father sudrez he have proposed that the life is originated from the god various religions present on the earth surface they are supported that and unfortunately that never get proved how the first life it is get formed on the earth because science here require the experiment science require the proof science require the conclusion though this supernatural power it is responsible for the creation of life but these scientists they are unable to prove how that first life it is get originated or it is get formed on the earth surface okay that is the objection also pick kept on this theory now second theory that is the cosmozoic theory or theory of panspermia here in this cosmozoic theory this theory was proposed by richer in 1865 and according to this theory here the life came on earth from a distant planet in the form of the spores or in the form of the microorganism the richer scientist have concluded that the earth it is get originated from the planet in the form of the microspore or in the form of the spores and from these spores the life it is get started or originated on the earth surface and he called it these spores he called it as the cosmozoa or panspermia 
these panspermia they are get present inside a meteoroids and these meteoroids nothing but the barren particles or the barren rocks and the nasa they have also reported these fossils of the bacteria just like these organisms just like these spores how the first life it is get originated on the earth but again the objection takes place on this theory that is they are not accepted why they are not accepted because scientifically they are unable to prove how the microspore or how this cosmozoa they are responsible for the production of life on the earth surface therefore due to the unproving or due to an unexperimental conclusion this theory is also not get accepted now come towards here the third theory that is the theory of spontaneous generation theory of spontaneous generation the term or the meaning of the spontaneous is nothing but the naturally and this theory it was get proposed by aristotle in 600 bc according to this theory here life it is get originated spontaneously from the non living material and louis pasteur he have also involved in this experiment that life it is get originated from the non living material non living matter also but again this theory it is unable to explain how the scientifically the non living matter are responsible for the formation of the first life no they are unable to prove that these life it is get originated maybe with the help of the abiogenesis or with the help of the non living matter okay now after that here the theory of a biogenesis next theory that is the theory of biogenesis the biotum it indicates the living genesis means the formation this theory of biogenesis it suggests that here the living thing or the living matter it is responsible for the production or the formation of life on the earth surface but again the question is arising get where is the first life or how the first life it is get formed the three scientist that is the francisco redi spallanzani and louis pasteur these three scientists together they get working on this theory of biogenesis and they have concluded that the living matter is responsible to forms the life but how this first living organism is came in existence on the earth surface from where this first cell from where this first cellular organism it is get originated these three scientists they are unable to prove they could not satisfactorily explain the continuity of life on the earth surface because at that time here unfortunately no discovery of microscope is there no discovery of the genetics is there they don't know how the genes are responsible for transmission of character how the gametes are responsible for the formation of zygote and through that zygote here the new life it is get form or maybe the some methods are there just like the sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction these factors are also responsible to produce the new life but these scientists they are unable to explain these all the things and therefore this theory of biogenesis they cannot show how the first life it is get formed or how the continuity of life takes place on the earth surface okay now come towards here the chemical theory of evolution in this chemical theory of evolution here the some points they are highlighted which are the main points in this chemical theory of evolution is there as we know that here the though these some factors when we are going to consider that is the 
theories but they are not getting proof scientifically the origin of life but this chemical theory of evolution and this chemical theory of evolution it was proposed by the operin and helgne these two scientists and these two scientists here satisfactorily step by step they explain how the life or how the earth first cell it is get originated on the earth surface now firstly here they explain the origin of earth and primitive atmosphere as here the firstly the origin of life and primitive atmosphere it suggests that according to the big bang theory also the earth may be get originated near about 4.6 billion years ago and when it was get detached from the sun at that time here it was in the very hot stage and due to global change on when the time it will be get going pass automatically here the temperature of this nebulous it will be get slowly get decreasing that earth it is nothing but share the one of the broken part of the sun and during when it is immediately get broken or immediately get withdrawal during that time here it was having the very hot temperature it was having the very high temperature and when the time it will be get pass during that time here slowly the temperature on the earth surface it will be get reduce and due to reduction of the temperature what will be get happen here the formation of different gases like they are having the lighter weight that is the helium hydrogen nitrogen oxygen carbon these gases they are getting formed on the surface of the atmosphere of the earth in the second step what happens here the formation of ammonia water and methane these things that will be get takes place after the origin formation of ammonia water and methane these three elements it will be get formed the primitive atmosphere it was hot and when the climate it will be get cool down during that time what happens here the process of condensation takes place and due to that here the hydrogen carbon nitrogen these molecules they are getting combined they are getting forms to compact they are getting condensed and due to that here the elements just like that here the water molecules it will be get formed then the methane ammonia here just like that these substances that will be get formed or start to appear on the surface of the earth just like here the simply evolution line shows that the maybe it may be plant or animal the animal it is starting to evolve or starting to get life from simple to complex because in the primitive stage here very simple gases are get present in the second step what happens the complexity that will be get increase and this simple gas when the temperature of the earth it will be get reduce slowly what happens these they are showing the condensation process they are showing here the compactness appear and due to combination of these lighter elements here the complexity of the molecule automatically it will be get increase here